What have we got here? The Tri Hunter 170. Yeah, it's a fairly rare boat. Being a tri hunter, mm -hmm. that means what? We've, we've got a tri hunt. Exactly. One, two, three. It's actually quite an interesting boat. Up on the plane, the side hulls are clear of the water and she runs pretty much like a normal boat. When turning or at rest, the boat sinks back into the water and you have all the stability of three hulls. It's genius. We've negotiated a price. Mm -hmm. um, five grand I'm paying for boat and trailer. That's right. You keep the motor and yes. the uh, electric mink coat that was on it. It's sort of a blank canvas for me to go and do up. Now, because I'm doing this on a budget and I'm taking it seriously, um, I'm going to do as much as I can, possibly all of it, by myself. Oh no. That's not good. Okay. Now, work on the transom. Look at that. That is soft slash dangerous. Um, You'd hate to think how many old boats are out there with transoms in this condition. Look at that. That is just completely rotten. Completely rotten. But don't let that scare you. It just means you have to fix it. As much as I wanted to do this project by myself, therefore saving money, what I need is some instructions, some help. I'm not going to get you to do the job for me. I just need you to sort of instruct to mentor. So how do you get rid of the rot? Uh, pretty much cut it out and start from scratch again. So we, you can't just replace bits, you just have to rebuild the whole thing? Yeah, yeah. cut it out, what's rotted, and um, start again. There goes the bow rod. The bow rider feature is no longer. To get to this point, it has been several months of preparation, isn't it? It has, that's uh, just the biggest part about it, is all the prep work. Yeah. It's exciting. I'm excited. Are you excited? Do you share my excitement? I do. Yeah. Or I'm high on the fumes. I'm not sure which. <laughs> and here it is, the prettiest boat in the world, the Haynes Hunter Tri Hunter 170. Um, she's not finished yet. In fact, it's been in my shed now for close to a year, 12 months. But I think that's what you need. You need time if you're going to do a project like this, particularly if you're doing it yourself. There is a little bit more to this than just cutting up sheets of plywood. Every piece of timber in the boat has been painstakingly prepared. Sanded, then epoxied, covered in fiberglass mat, then rolled out to make sure no air pockets or voids are left. To speed things up, I've called in the cavalry. I've employed a man to fair up and paint the deck, and the result is great. The painting of the deck was a process. It took my man, oh, the best part of three days, four days to bog it, sand it, bog it, sand it, and finally paint it. I brought it to a fiberglass factory. Yes, it's gonna cost me money, but I'm going to get it finished. That finishing involved flow coat. It's the final layer and is rolled on nice and thick and gives a much more polished look. Oh, this is a very, very, very exciting day that I wasn't sure would ever eventuate. It is finally fit up day. And there you go, thanks to Fish Wreck, the transformation is complete. And have a look at it. It's a 50 year old boat that looks brand new. It's just about ready to take off. I think it's time, Drew. I think you've just got to give it a beat. Just kick it in oh, the pants. Let's no. see what it does. Come on. Oh, God. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, he's away. Oh, what else he does? Thing there, oh, no, 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 Hunter, what a fishing machine yeah, she is. Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Um, there's not a lot of these old Haynes Tri Hunters around, and uh, the front deck, you've got the Minn Kota iPilot on the front. You've yes. got two 
a uh, Helix 9 Mega Plus unit. The so uh, side it's imaging that I'm getting out of those is just unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, it is well set up. It is a practical fishing weapon. I can't wait to get out and uh, have a go, to be honest. There is just one small issue. Yeah, what's that? Have a look down under there on top of the roll of the... Oh, you forgot to put the bung in this hole just here. Mm. Jeez, that's, uh, that's nasty. Mm. What it is, is a disaster. It couldn't really be worse. I mean, had I drowned, that would have been worse. Oh, joy. Why am I always the guy? That is a catastrophic failure. The issue had become apparent the day before. Water was cascading out of the front when I put the boat on the trailer. Not one, but two big long cracks had opened up, basically where she sits on the rollers. My decision to try and save money on the glasswork had backfired spectacularly. There are no words. 